and I'm going to transfer all of these chats into this iPhone. Hello guys, welcome back to another brand new video and this is my brand new iPhone 30 which I purchased from Flipkart on Big Billion Day Sale then about two weeks ago and it cost me only 47,500 after some credit card cashback so that's an awesome deal and this is my LG G8X I was a purchase with a big flint diesel around two years ago around 18,000 rupees awesome phone and I've been using this phone for the last two years it's my primary phone and today what I'm going to do guys I'm going to show you how to transfer your whatsapp from this LG G8X to your iPhone. You can install a brand new WhatsApp uh, on iPhone easily, but the problem is you cannot transfer your old data or old chat history into an iPhone from an Android phone. So today in this video guys, I'm going to show you how you can do it using an app named iToolbar WhatsApp Go. So guys, let's begin the video. So guys, first thing we're going to do, we're going to download the WhatsApp on the phone and we don't need to create any account, just download it. And download the application and after download just open it do not register the application so you need to download an application name Ortsco from i2 lab uh, here is their website you can download it from uh, this website link is in the description below you can transfer data between iPhone to Android or Android to iPhone easily using this application so Android to iPhone iPhone to Android Android to Android iPhone to Android so you can do uh, this kind of WhatsApp data transfer easily using this i2 lab Ortsco application. So let's open the application first. So double click the open application. Here we have WhatsApp transfer and WhatsApp business transfer. So we'll select WhatsApp transfer and start. So here we have our source and destination. Source will be my Android phone and destination is my iPhone. Before connecting the phone with the PC, we need to turn on the developer mode. To do turn on the developer mode, we need to go to the settings, then find the about phone option. So system, here is the about phone and click on software information. Click on the build to turn on the developer mode. Now you are a developer. Now guys, let's connect my phone with my PC USB port. Now here is showing open USB debugging and go to developer option and scroll down and here is the usb debugging and we need to turn it on okay allow it now unplug it then plug it again then change the setting use usb connector for charging apply allow usb debugging allow always allow from this computer allow now it's connected successfully and guys here is my iPhone 13 and we're going to connect this iPhone 13 with my PC. So it's connected, it's charging, asking me to enter device passcode. Now iPhone is successfully connected. My Android phone and iPhone both are successfully connected with the PC. LG Z8X connected successfully and OBG's iPhone connected successfully. Now let's click on transfer and see what happened. Okay, now I need to do all of these settings on my iPhone 13. So we need to go to the iPhone settings. Here is the settings. And from here, we need to select my Apple Cloud. Then I have to click on find my device. This is find my device. And I need to turn off find my iPhone. And I need to turn it off. It's for temporary. So I put my password and now click on turn off. Okay, now it's successfully turned off. Now I get this message, WhatsApp data will be overwritten on iPhone 13. Are you want to sure want to continue? Note, you can back up WhatsApp data on your iPhone 13 to the computer. Continue. Oh, please follow up the tutorial to turn on 64 bit end to end to on. Skip the setup if your 64 bit end to end to backup is already turned on. Before proceeding further, we need to open our WhatsApp and create a backup of it. Tap on this three dot and go to settings, then click on chats. Then here is the chat backup, you see, this is the chat backup. So click it here and my last backup created on 20 September. So let's create a new backup, today's latest backup. So back it up and it will take some time because my backup size is around 1.9 GB. 
so backup is completed guys we also need to enable to end to end encrypted backup tap on this three dot and go to settings and then go to chats and here is the chat backup you see here is the chat backup and you need to turn on this end to end encrypted uh, backup okay so click here end to end encrypted backup is off we need to enable it turn on okay next now uh, create your end to end uh, encrypted backup create now end to end backup is completed so we enable it so let's click on enabled now it's backing up my data preparing for obtaining whatsapp backup data generate backup data and probably it takes some time then we will log in our whatsapp on my iphone Here I faced a problem, 64-bit end-to-end encryption verify, please enter your 64-bit password or I didn't set any kind of 64-bit password for my WhatsApp backup encryption, so I don't have the password. Then I noticed this note, if you cannot enable 64-bit end-to-end encryption backup, please try the workaround here. So I click on this link and it open a mobile number verification page. So here I verified my mobile number. After that, WhatsApp Go asked me to disable true step verification on my WhatsApp and I did that. So go to settings and account privacy true step verification. My true step verification is already disabled, so I don't need to disable it. If your true step verification is enabled, please follow the tutorial and disable it. If disabled, click the disable button and continue. So they sent me a code and I need to verify the message. Okay, verify. Okay, now uh, it's asking me to log in your WhatsApp account and iPhone 13, and otherwise the data cannot be viewed from uh, restoration. So now take your iPhone and open the uh, WhatsApp. Now agree and continue and put your phone number. Three five four two nine six is the OTP verification code. As you see guys, on iPhone we only have the option to restore WhatsApp chat data from iCloud. We don't get any option to restore data from uh, Google Drive. Okay, now click here to log in. Generate data that can be restored. This option takes a long time to be patient. Uh, Sometimes it is stuck on 70%, then a couple of minutes or 10-20 minutes later it's move on. Transfer data to the target device. Wow, transfer WhatsApp successfully. WhatsApp data has been transferred from LG G8X to your iPhone, iPhone 13 successfully. If you don't log in into WhatsApp on the targeted device in advance, the data would not be restored. If this happened, please try again. So let's see whether we able to restore our data on our iPhone or not. So guys, transfer completed. Now let's open the WhatsApp on my iPhone. Here is all of the WhatsApp chat that are transferred from this Android phone, from this phone to this iPhone. We successfully transferred all of these chats. So those are the chats guys, you see. So it's work. So guys, that's how we can transfer our WhatsApp chat from this Android phone to this iPhone and our old WhatsApp, uh, this is no longer registered. As you see and this is our new register whatsapp uh, with our old chat so that's how we can transfer our chat from android to iphone it's a little bit long process but we can do it using i2 lab whatsapp go application link is in the description below and if you guys have any questions any suggestions let me know in the comment section below i definitely try to reply every one of your questions that being said my name is Ovi i'm signing out and i will meet you on my next video till then bye bye